Hey folks, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido. And if you were with us last week, we started part one of our top eight best RV camping of 2019 episode from our second full season of Grand Adventure. If you missed last week's episode, we covered best boondocking, best RV campgrounds, best RV parks, and best value. This week though, we're gonna take a different tack for the remaining four categories, and we're gonna cover fun things that you can do while you're out RV traveling. And that's going to include our favorite national parks from 2019, our favorite hikes, our favorite kayaking, and our favorite towns. So stick around. And our first category, we're gonna head back to West Texas for best national parks that we visited in 2019. And the runner up goes to Big Bend. This is a massive, massive and incredibly underutilized national park. You don't have the throngs of tourists here. You have plenty of elbow room. We hardly saw anybody while we were there. And the topography is incredibly diverse. It ranges from 8,000 foot mountain peaks in the Chisos Mountains to low-level desert right along the Mexican border on the shores of the Rio Grande River.
Now you can learn a lot more about Big Bend National Park in our episode 119, which and as is the case with all of these, put it, remember, in the description, linked in the video description right down below. Now for our winner in the best national park category from our episode 126, we're not gonna have to travel very far. We're gonna head just a little bit further north, just across the state line into New Mexico to Carlsbad Caverns National Park. Now we've done caves before, but nothing, and I mean nothing, prepared us for our experience in Carlsbad Caverns. These are colossal, extensive, there's something like 30 miles worth of chambers that have already been navigated, explored, and mapped, and there's still more to go. But just the height of these things, the magnitude of these things, absolutely there's no way our camera could do it justice, but we did our best to try to share it with you in our episode 126. So as far as our national park system goes, Carlsbad Caverns is a very unique destination and very worthy of our winner in our favorite national park that we visited in 2019. Next category is going to be best kayaking for you paddlers out there. Now, do you remember our runner up in the best boondocking category up in the Wind River Mountains of Wyoming? We're going to head back up there now for the runner up in our best kayaking category Green River Lakes. You may recall that our boondocking spot was just downstream of the outlet from the lower Green River Lake. We were the only people out there on July 4th weekend. We were the only people on the water. It just doesn't get more special than that. Especially with the beautiful surroundings of the Wind River Mountains, including the dominant square top out across the waters of the lower lake. Beautiful blue waters, beautiful mountain scenery and solitude, the perfect place to paddle.
Now again, you can see more and learn more about Paddle in the Green River Lakes in our episode 108, which you'll find linked to, you know it, right down in the video description down below. But for our winner in the best kayaking category, we're going to go from freshwater to saltwater. Back to our episode 122, which you may remember we were boondocking right on the beach in Padre Island National Seashore. Now while we were staying at the seashore, the waves on the Gulf side, the surf was about six foot in height virtually throughout our entire stay. However, on the bay side of the island, you have the huge Laguna Madre, which is the intercoastal water between the mainland and Padre Island. These is lined with salt marshes, little nooks and crannies to go paddle through and explore. It turned out to be our favorite paddle from 2019 from our episode 122. Now category seven that we're going to look at is best hiking and for this we're going to travel back to our home state of Utah for both the runner-up and the winner in this category both get a nod to hikes within our home state. For the runner-up we give it to episode 101 which was our Bears Ears National Monument visit. The thing that makes hiking in Bears Ears so incredibly special is that around virtually every turn in every canyon you'll find ruins of ancient Pueblo and people just sitting there waiting for you to discover, just like the house on fire that we hiked to here.
but we won't have to travel far to go from our runner-up to our winner in the best hiking category. For an episode 104, we were camped in the Boulder and Escalante area of Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument. And while we were boondocking there, I got to do a hike that has been on my list for years and years and years, and that is to Lower Calf Creek Falls. This is perhaps the prettiest desert waterfall you will ever encounter. It's a relatively easy, relatively flat, three mile each way hike to go from the parking lot to the falls. And this hike needs to be a bucket list item for any avid hiker out there. Now our eighth and final category is dedicated to you sightseers out there and that is our favorite towns that we visited in 2019. And for the runner up, we're gonna head back to Central Texas. You may recall that we were camped at Cranes Mill Campground on Canyon Lake. Now that's right outside of the charming town of New Braunfels. Now New Braunfels is kind of divided into two sections. There's the main town, which is, has a charm all its own. It really does. As a matter of fact, it's also got more deer than I've ever seen in any place in my life. I think they almost outnumber the people. However, there's also the historic district of Green. Green is a beautiful little place to go for an evening stroll like we did. Maybe take in some live music at Green Hall. Maybe get a wonderful meal, some nice smoked ribs, uh, or just wander around town and enjoy the evening air and environment. It's a vibrant section of town. It, people come from miles around to see Green and we truly enjoyed our visit to Green. We wish we'd have had more time to spend in New Braunfels itself and we will definitely be back to take in more of New Braunfels on a future visit.
But you can take in more information about New Braunfels right now by visiting our episode 125. For the winter in our favorite town, it's not that far away. We're just going to head a little further south to along the Texas Gulf Coast and return to Rockport. Now, you may recall that while we were in Rockport, we talked about Drifters Resort, that beautiful RV park that got our winner in the RV park category. Well, the twin towns of Rockport and Fulton, they get our nod for our favorite town that we visited in all of 2019. This is a beautiful area right along the bay uh, along the Gulf Coast with wonderful seafood restaurants, wonderful fishing. You can spend some time strolling or laying upon the beach while you're there. But the thing about the Rockport and Fulton area that really struck us is that it is kind of semi-undiscovered. Uh, it's not an area that people flock to, and so everything is wonderfully understated. Uh, there, there's a ton to see and do in the Rockport and Fulton areas of Texas, and we will also gladly return to Rockport and Fulton someday. You can learn more about Rockport and Fulton in our episode 124. So we really hope you've enjoyed reliving some of our favorite spots and destinations in 2019 and we hope that it's helpful in your travel planning for your travels in 2020. Happy New Year. Welcome to the New Year. If you're not yet a Grand Adventurer, now's a great time. Smash that little red subscribe button down there in the corner and ring that notification bell so you can come along on all of our Grand Adventures. We would be honored if you shared Grand Adventure with your friends, family, and on social media. Now, as we explained, you can learn more about each of these destinations down in the video description below, 
but also down below you'll find the comment section where we always love to hear from you after each episode. Until next week, please remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you then.